Hello, it's Impure Death here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a tripod or how to host one. Um, this is very simple because a friend of mine made a program so you can make your own tripod. And let's first go to that page. This is the web page used. It's um, tfmtripod.dndns.info. Um, I will also post this in the link description so you can find it there. And yeah, so this is the website I was talking about. Um, if you want to go to the bot program, you go basically go here, try bot starters, and you scroll down. And you see a program here. This is the actual program. So basically, um, you register an account here. Uh, by clicking on it, then you get this screen. And you can fill in your account name, password, password again, and your real account name. And you click register, and then it will take some time and make an account for you. When you're done, log in by clicking on account name and fill in your account name, which in this case is Impure Lifebot. And the password, yeah, you don't get it. <laughs> okay, so let's um, connect Impure Lifebot. Um, and see what's happening. Waiting, 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 waiting. And when it's done connecting, you can see logged in and you get the chat, which um, I'll show you what it does in a second. So let me first recruit the bot, which is the first step recruit your live bot, which I've now done and now he's in our tribe. So if we go back to the web page, we can um, see um, orange is for whispers, green is for tribe, room, yeah, it's currently empty, I can say hi, hi, and it shows up here, hi. Uh, tribe is all the tribe messages, whispers is obviously all the whispers, it's not nice and tight. So let's go to all so you can see everything that's happening. So, um... Let's go to options. Well, the first things you see map testing, music playing. These are basically um, things you can enable so every mice in your tribe can add a song like uh, uh, with commands and add maps and play them after each other so it doesn't interfere with uh, everyone else's stuff. Uh, then we also have the function avoid becoming sync, which is useful because because if a if a bot is sync, uh, a lot of weird stuff happens when a map gets loaded and um, the game doesn't function the same when a bot is sync. So that's a small problem. So we have this to avoid that. Uh, it's currently disabled, so the bot can be the sync because the bot needs to be the sync for mini games to play. Um, currently it's not the sync, I can reload the map so it will recognize who is the sync, which is Miku. Um, people have been asking me how to get the bot sync. You basically the bot has to be the first one in the room, so you have to ask this person to leave and then another name shows up and you have to ask them. So basically he needed to be the first one in the room, so everyone in the room that joined before him has to rejoin the room and then the bot is sync. I'm not going to show you the mini games because you all know what Pictionary and FFA is. Probably not PvP, but it's buggy and not worth mentioning. Um, when the bot is synced, you can click this and you can click options to add maps. Um, I'm not showing this uh, not because um, there's problems with it. Well, basically, my browser itself is messed up, and if I host uh, the bot, then if I try to shoot a cannon or an anvil, it will take like one minute before it shoots it because my internet connection is so slow. But well, the first thing you need to do for this is probably the most handy things to have always on is map testing and music play. But the bot can't play music when you uh, don't have him with a high rank. So he has to have a rank which can play music and for us that's Shaman Apprentice and Shaman Apprentice can also load maps so we can enable these and we can load an, an, a weird mass map why the hell am I on this thing oh yeah I crashed myself before which is pretty stupid 
But okay, let's go here. And if it is good, this should work. And if it doesn't work, oh yeah, look, it works instantly. It's nice. Um, you see, my map gets loaded. You can also load a music song if I want, which I'm gonna do now. I think I have music disabled, but I will enable it for a second and add music and post a link. Oh no, that's uh, <laughs> wrong copy. Now it should be copied. Add music. Yeah, they're probably laughing at me. And now you see he's adding the song, which will take a bit. Uh, it doesn't instantly add it. It will uh, first try to find out how long the song is and what the name is. So, oh, I did ha didn't have my music muted, so apparently I muted it. But now all the other people are hearing this song and they are bothered by it because it's really fucking awesome. And they are playing maps with my bot already, which is uh, its purpose. So yeah, um, I will enable bef uh, avoid becoming a sync for now and let's go to chat options. Chat options are basically you want to deactivate every message you don't want to see. Like if you go look at the tribe, you don't want to see connection and disconnection. You can go to option and connected, disconnected, and those messages won't show up anymore. This is also really annoying. This is also annoying. People quit. Who the hell gives a fuck? Um, those messages will not appear anymore. Which is really handy. Uh, I already explained the games. Uh, let me explain a bit more about the sync. Uh, why it is a problem. Because um, the sync basically, um, all the players can be a sync. It's, it's the one player that updates all the other mites with the locations of the other mites and objects like a cannonball you just saw. And it also updates where grounds have their position on the map. So every mice is seeing the same thing. But um, for you to know the actual uh, location, you need to have uh, a client. Like you need to be a player because it has already built in a physics engine. And your screen basically shows what the other mice have to see as well. Every one of them has a physics engine. But a bot, on the other hand, doesn't. He doesn't update information. He doesn't have a physics engine. He is just sending um, uh, small codes, simple codes to um, the game, and it doesn't send complicated things like where he's at and where positions of objects are at. So that's that's a flaw of it. So. But the other thing that's great about it, if you if the bot is sync, then he can. Um, just lie to us like um, for update location you can just tell us there's an anvil here flying with this speed and that stuff and then we get hit by the anvil and we see the anvil as well because he is showing us the reality so yeah you can see it as um, someone who tells us what is actually on the screen and a bot basically abuses that so that's the idea behind it it's not a mod, uh, a bot um, again, so you can't um, sync your account quickly and do other stuff with it. It has limits. It's a player account. It can't do that much chat stuff, but it's it's good enough overall. Uh, I'm not going to show you um, the mini games. Um, I can just tell you, like, just try it out yourself. It, it's not really hard to set up. If you have a tribe, if you're the leader of a tribe, if you aren't the leader of a tribe, then well. Tell your leader, like, well, have fun with this. It's really nice. Because it is really nice. And why am I playing this map again? I don't know. Um, any more things you need to know? Well, you can leave the tribe by going to General Options and click Leave. And now if you go to the, the thing, you see if your live bot has left. Let me get back my old bot. Because that one is so much better. And now we have ImpureBot back, which is great. And I can shut down this and have you see stuff on the screen, which is pretty neat. And yeah, if you liked this tutorial, if you have some more questions, you can also always contact me on YouTube. Don't contact me on in-game because it's just bothering. 
it can be really annoying sometimes because I want to play the game and if I'm on YouTube I like to see reactions I I would like to answer to some because that's that's when I'm in the mood to do that and not when I'm trying to play the game because I get spam enough and I don't need more if you do think spamming me in game would help then you can do whatever and get ignored good job Cunt. and Goodbye.